Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hello, my name is Spiff and if you're new here, what's up? Today, I thought it'd be really cute for you all to get ready with me for my first date with this guy that I just met on the internet. And um, yeah, I really wanted to share this moment with y'all. I thought it'd be really cute just because like I got a new backdrop, I'm looking real cute, I just shaved, I'm in my comfy little robe, I have my coffee, so I'm just having a good time. I, I thought that I would just, you know, just spend it with y'all because I love y'all. I'm just so happy. As you all know, I don't usually like go out on dates, it's not what I do, but I thought I would just give this guy a chance and so that's what I'm doing. If you aren't already subscribed, make sure to do so and um, give this video a thumbs up if you like it, like I like this guy. Because he's cute. <laughs> Alright, so without further ado, let's go to get started on today's tutorial. So I literally have like less than 10 products because I really want this guy to like accept me for like my natural beauty. I, I feel like I don't want to like cake on anything or like throw off a different impersonation that I'm trying to be somebody else because like I'm not even gonna wear contacts. Like so today I thought I would just start off with this Andalou spray. It's a toning refresher. It's age defying because I defy the age. Refreshing. I'm gonna apply a little bit of concealer because I want him to just accept my bags for my bags. So just a little like right there and right there. We won't cover that up because we don't we don't like her. A little bit right there. Gotta hide the stash, you know. I'm now just gonna take that on a brush and just blend that out into my beautiful skin. I just figured like this is a good way to get out of my comfort zone. We've been talking about that lately on my channel. Next, I'm gonna be taking my Makeup Forever. This is the Water Blend Foundation. It literally has no coverage on it, but it does an amazing job at just making it look like skin because I'm pretty sure it is my skin. And so I'm just gonna like take 500 pumps because this legit has no coverage. And I'm just gonna lightly dab that onto my face. I decided that we would go bowling because <laughs> I can bowl, bitch. So I thought I would just one-up him today and just really show him my skills because I'm very versatile at my skills. Not that kind of versatile. But I just want to like show him that I'm not just like this pretty person who, you know, is all about makeup and like concealing everything and, you know, I just want to show him my authentic self. Of course with like four layers on, but you know. That's my authentic self. Now I'm literally just gonna take this powder brush that may have some like translucent powder left over on it because that's just really gonna just set this foundation even though it's not really a foundation. It just, is that him? Oh, oh my gosh. He said he's so excited for this date. <laughs> literally, I cannot be more happy about this. I just feel like really, I don't know. Like there's a connection there. Like we were talking all night long, like on Facebook, and I just felt like there was just like this deep connection. So I think we're really gonna hit it off. You know, he's not like the type of guy that I usually go for, but I thought, why not? Next, I'm just gonna bronze my face. I'm not even gonna contour because I like my cheekbones the way they are, natural. So I'm just gonna take this bronzer right here. It's a little darker than me, but it's okay. It's gonna add a lot of warmth to the face. And I'm just going to just use circular motions to apply that onto my face because I wanted to show him how much of a warm sensation I am. That sounded very sexual, but okay. Next, I'm gonna take this blush palette right here and I'm just gonna take one of my favorite blushes because he deserves to see my favorite blush on me because it's my favorite. And it's um, Becca Songbird. It's right here in the center one. It's so cute. He just makes me really flushed in the face. And I just really want him to see that. I'm not even gonna wear falsies today because why would I wanna be fake with him? So, I'm just gonna take a little bit of Better Than Sex mascara, but I'm pretty sure his is better than this mascara. Um, and I'm just gonna lightly coat my lashes. I'm just gonna coat these also, so that way they can match. Just like me and this guy did, we matched. Next, I'm just gonna take one brush for the eyes. I'm just gonna apply one shadow. I don't wanna apply too much product. I just figured that I wouldn't wear lipstick and instead I'm just gonna wear a little bit of lip balm, but this one's gonna make it really juicy. It's a lip sleeping mask from Laneige. It's so good. So I'm actually gonna just mix these two eyeshadows right here from the Soft Glam Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And we're just gonna go very light. I'm not trying to apply so much because I don't wanna think, make him think that they're fake because they're very much real. Well, I think I'm all done. 
Oh, that must be him. <laughs> Cancel? 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 What? <laughs> no. No. Oh. No. Ah. <laughs> Cancel? On me. Did he just can't? Wait a second. He gonna cancel on me. All right, you gonna cancel on me. You know what, sis, hold that. The wall, hold that. We're redoing this whole tutorial, everybody. Wipe, wipe your crap off. I see you trying to follow this tutorial. Uh-uh, honey. I shaved for you. I shaved for you. Hey, yo, sis. We going out. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, so we're going to go in with our spray that we took in the beginning, which is the Andalou Toning Refresher Spray. We're going to spritz that on. We're going to let that dry down. Next, I'm going to be taking the Dear Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Cream Moisturizer. I talked about this in my mid-year beauty favor. It's just a really nice year-round moisturizer. Next for foundation, I'm going to be taking the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in shade True Beige. And then also mix that in with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. This is their Radiance Drops. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I might have put just a little bit too much. Don't you just hate whenever you're like expecting the whole day to just like fall into this date, like all day you're at work or you're doing something, you're at school and then like you're like, oh my gosh, I have a date tonight, like it's gonna be so exciting. And then all of a sudden, they just wanna cancel. All right, next for concealer, I'm gonna be taking that Wet n Wild Makeup Stick in shade 809, you're a natural. And we're gonna go full coverage today. I'm just gonna be buffing that all around the areas where I wanna highlight and just really bring everything up to the surface. Next, I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Makeup Contour Stick in 805, you call me Maple. And we're just gonna contour this face. I'm also gonna go back in with that concealer brush that I used to blend out the concealer with. And I'm just gonna go back in and blend out that contour because sometimes I go in a little too far. And we just wanna really bring that back. All the highlighted spots, we wanna just make sure that they're nice and blended, nothing looks too like contoured. So if you contour too close to the inside part of your face, it just really closes off everything. I look nice and oily and disgusting and creamy. Um, I definitely put a lot of that foundation on my face, so um, note to yourself, don't use that much. <laughs> I'm gonna next take the Maybelline Fit Me powder in shade medium. And I'm only gonna set the areas where I put the concealer at, so. And when I'm pressing it into the forehead, because I'm gonna be clubbing all night long, so I wanna make sure that nothing just sweats off. The nose especially is very important, especially if you get an oily nose, just pack that powder on. And then just take what's left and just pop it right underneath. Next, I'm gonna be taking the Lorac Pro Contour Palette, and I'm gonna just grab this medium contour shade right here. And while I'm at it, I'm just gonna go ahead and just contour my nose. Next, I'm gonna take the yellow highlighter shade, which is right here in the center, and I'm gonna use that to just kind of bring back the brightness underneath my eyes. Next, I'm gonna be taking the Jane Cosmetics Bronzer in Give. I don't know if they have this bronzer still in stock, but it's a really pretty bronzer that just really adds a lot of warmth to the face. Next, I'm gonna be taking the Becca Blush with Light Palette, and I'm not gonna be taking Songbird today, but I'm gonna be taking a Snapdragon, which is this one right here. I'm throwing this on the outer parts of my cheeks just to really lift up the face. And I'm gonna be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Goodetto Glow Kit, and I'm gonna take the shade Glow Getter and mix it in with 143. Cause you know why? I'm a Glow Getter, honey. Let's go ahead and just highlight the nose because, um, yes. All right, I'm gonna quickly do my brows off camera and then I'll be right back to start the eyes. 
All right, so I thought we'd throw it back to a palette that I haven't touched in a while, but I was like going through some of my palettes and I was like, whoa, like I haven't seen this in such a long time. So I thought we would use it today and for today's video. I also went ahead and I popped on my opulent contact lenses in shade Mesmer Gray. You can use code SPIFFY10 at checkout. So I'm gonna be taking the TARDIS Pro palette right here. I have had this for a while. I think I bought this whenever I first started working at my first location in Sephora. Such a pretty palette, and I believe it's still sold in Sephora stores. It should be. Should be. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pick up the shade Whimsy, which is this one right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take that into my outer corner. Tapping off the excess. I love this mirror that comes with the palette because it's so big. You would probably only need this palette if you were traveling somewhere because it has so many shades and then it has four shimmer shades. Next, I'm gonna just go straight in with my finger and I'm gonna pick up the color Trendy, which is this one right here. For some reason, this shadow works better when you just pick it up with your finger, so that's exactly what I'm doing. And I'm gonna just take that pretty much on the entire lid, probably like three quarters worth. So next, I'm gonna be picking up the shade Edgy in the palette, which is this one right here. I'm gonna pop that into the outer corner just to add a little bit more depth. And so that way the color Trendy can just blend in more as well. So before I go ahead and take that shade Edgy onto my lower lash, and I'm gonna go ahead and take this NYX eyeliner pencil in shade Sunrise Blue. I'm taking this into my waterline and my lash line just because we are gonna be smudging it out. All right, so next I'm gonna take that shade Edgy, like I said. And then I'm gonna take the color Punk, which is the black in the eyeshadow palette, and I'm gonna pop that into the outer corner as the last shade. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more Trendy and just pop that onto my eyelid, just in case if I felt like. I felt like Trendy kind of lost a little bit of the color as I was blending out other shadows, so I'm just gonna take some more of it. I'm gonna go back in with that Nicole Goodetto Glow Kit. I'm gonna pick up the shade Forever Young, which is this one. Just bring back that inner corner life, honey. All right, next I'm gonna be taking the Ardell Mega Volume Lashes in 253. All right, next I'm gonna take a little bit of the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. All right, I am going to take a little bit of lash glue. I'm gonna pop this into the inner corner and we're just gonna get really creative with these little stars. And just put stars, honey, because baby, you ain't gonna cancel on me, honey. I'm a star. You don't, you don't, you don't come after me like that. You don't do that to me. I'm gonna do the other side off camera. All right, and then for lips, I'm gonna be taking the NYX Cosmetics Liquid Suede Lipstick in shade Sandstorm. And we're just gonna coat this. I've been really into overlining my cupid's bow and making it rounder. And then I'm going to be taking the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in Drug Lord. Alright, so I decided to keep my hair up actually in a bun, but like a cute little like, oh it's so cute! And then I'm also wearing this like cute little overall thing with like no shirt underneath it's from zara it has pockets it's cute um but in this case honey since i'm gonna be this revealed for tonight because uh i do want to be canceling on me i'm gonna go ahead and just highlight my collarbone while i'm here i always I love my collarbone i'm gonna take my highlighter brush and the anastasia glow kit oh yeah Just like this little added detail is just gonna pull everything all together. Honey, best believe I'm gonna be posting this picture on um, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. I want this dude to know that if he cancels, uh-uh, uh-uh. Like this is what you're missing out on, a snack, honey. Actually, no, I'm the full entree. I'm that seven course meal, I ain't no snack. 
All right, guys, and that is the end of this makeup tutorial right here. Um, a big F you to the guy who ditched me on this date. I was immensely prepared for it all day, and this is what happened. So you know what? I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna have a good time with my friends. I love you all so much. But in all honesty, I'm just ready to just take a night out of the town and just enjoy myself and have a good time. Life is life, and sometimes you're gonna have people that ditch you on dates, and Sometimes you just gotta have a backup plan, and this was my backup plan. Film a little tutorial, rant a little bit. All right, if you enjoyed this type of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I post videos weekly. And until the next video, I love you all so much, and I'll see you later. Bye.